Thanks for joining me again, everybody. This is the next in the series of interviews to get to know data schoolers. And today I have Tom Smith with me. Thanks for joining me, Tom. No problem. Why don't you tell everybody who you are and where you're from? Uh, my name is Tom. I am from London. What were you doing before you joined the data school? Before joining the data school, I was doing a master's at uh, Loughborough University, London. So that's a master's campus based near the Olympic Park in Stratford. Um, I was doing sports analytics and technologies, and it was there that I kind of came across Tableau. We had a, um, an assessment that we had to build an executive dashboard for, and that really got me started on the, on the data visualization journey. That's great to hear. Why sports analytics or whatever you said it was? Yeah. <laughs> um, so for my undergraduate degree, I did Spanish, Portuguese and business in Newcastle. And after that, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do. Um, and not being able to go back to South America because of the pandemic, I decided I need to get a grip on what I wanted to do with my career um, and was interested in the sports industry. Uh, and I had, I'd realized I had more of an analytical mindset. So those two kind of combined um, led me down the, the sports analytics path. So. so Isabel wanted me to ask you, how was the Tableau test today? Oh, dearie me. It was um, tough. It's probably the best way to describe it. Um, struggled with a couple of questions, for sure. There's a couple of areas that I know I need to sharpen up on based on that, based on the test. So definitely a good way to see where we're at. But um, yeah, you reading the room, it was quite an interesting three hours. We were all sighing a lot, thinking, yeah. "Oh God, this is this is difficult." But do you prefer Alteryx or Tableau, and why? Tableau because I just think it's where my strengths lie. I think the data preparation side of things is where, um, you know, I need to work on a bit more. I find it a little bit trickier to get my head around certain concepts um, and working with Alteryx and Tableau Prep, although sometimes is enjoyable. Um, I do find it a little bit more difficult than working with Tableau. And I think the, the application process behind the data school working with Tableau um, and visualizing the data it just kind of stuck with me in those early weeks um and i just find it a bit more fun what's your favorite feature of tableau drag and drop and not having to do so much coding i think i come from a background where i didn't do any coding or any kind of um you know creating calculated fields before all of this so coming into the data school um or just picking up tableau i think being able to drag and drop blue and green pills around and it makes nice charts is um the the best bit for me it means that i can do things i wouldn't normally be able to do if i didn't and what's your favorite alteryx tool so my favorite alteryx tool would probably be the formula tool just because it lets you do so much to the data that you've got in hand and you can manipulate it and, and change it in a lot of different ways what about your top tip for being successful while you're in training at the data school just work hard and ask a lot of questions when you don't know what's going on. I think I'm definitely someone who at times wasn't sure what was going on in the room. And if you're thinking it, a lot of the other people in the room are probably thinking it as well. So sticking your hand up and saying, actually, I don't really know what happened in that, that last five minutes. Can you just re-go over that is, is definitely one of the most beneficial things you can do. How'd you get over that hurdle? doing it a lot in the first week and just getting over the idea of um, thinking you're the silly one in the group. Because I think if you ask the questions, then other people jump in as well. And where you might have been thinking that question, someone else will then be like asking that question as well. So just creating that dynamic between the group and getting in there early is, is probably quite important. How have you improved the most? Probably my presentation skills. I think at the start, it was probably one of the things I was worrying about most. Um, even in the interviews and the early presentations, I was probably quite nervous going into the, the first client projects and that type of thing. But I've definitely noticed an improvement in that. Um, when I'm presenting to people, I, I get less nervous. I still get, you know, you feel the pressure a little bit, but it's, it's definitely improved. And I think that's a big part of the process in the data school. What do you find most challenging? Time pressure in the in the um, client project weeks. So when we have three days to go through requirements from a client and then 
do the process of understanding the data and doing the data preparation and visualizing it towards the end even formatting is a bit of a nightmare in tableau it cannot often take hours on the friday morning so i think when you combine all of that together that's one of the biggest challenges that i think any day school would face if you could go anywhere in the world where would you go it would be in south america definitely because I did Spanish and Portuguese at uh, university. So I'd probably say Brazil because I spent six months there in Sao Paulo and I absolutely loved it. And it's just a place that I'd love to go back and explore a bit more because Brazil is a massive country and I probably only covered about 10% of it. Last question, who's next? Henry can go next. Okay, I'll reach out to him. Thanks, Tom. No problem, thank you. All right, bye. See you later. Bye.